Good evening and welcome to King's Kids, a nightly bedtime story just for you. I'm Mr. Leeds, head of the children's ministry at our church, and tonight's story is about Jesus' rescue, and I hope you enjoy it. God's Story, Jesus' Rescue. So part of God's story is about Jesus' rescue, and it begins like this. Remember how God told Adam not to eat from one tree in the Garden of Eden? God said, if you eat its fruit, you're sure to die. Unfortunately, Adam and Eve chose to disobey God. And that's when death and all the wrong things in the world began. Adam and Eve eventually died. And everyone who disobeys God, which is all of us, deserves the same punishment. But God loves us so much, he decided to rescue us by getting rid of death so we could be close to him forever again. He did it through his son, Jesus. It was a battle of death versus Jesus. And don't worry, kids, Jesus wins. First, Jesus had to meet death which means he had to become a man and suffer and die like us, even though he had never done anything wrong. He did that. Then, three days after he died, some women who were friends with Jesus went to visit his grave. When they got there, the tomb was wide open and angels were standing nearby. One of them said, he is risen. Right away, the women ran to tell Jesus' other disciples that the angel had said Jesus was alive. But their words sounded like nonsense. Imagine telling someone that pigs were flying or a frog had turned into a prince. They probably wouldn't believe you. Those things just don't happen. Anyway, crazy as it sounded, Jesus really was alive. And some people saw him and started to believe it. Like Mary Magdalene. When Mary first saw Jesus, she was crying and didn't recognize him. He said, why are you crying? Mary replied, they've taken my Lord away. Then Jesus said, Mary. When he called her by name, Mary realized it was Jesus. Then Jesus showed up to two men who were headed to a place called Emmaus. They didn't recognize him at first either and started telling him how sad they were about Jesus. They were pretty surprised when they suddenly realized that they were talking to Jesus. After the men understood he was alive, Jesus disappeared from their sight. Immediately, the same men went to find Jesus' other disciples who were meeting in a room. While the men were announcing the good news, Jesus appeared in the room too. His disciples thought he was a ghost, but he wasn't. He showed them his scars and ate with them. They realized it really was Jesus. Jesus would appear to more than 500 people over the next 40 days, so there were plenty of people who knew the truth. Then Jesus went back to heaven by rising into the sky. People watched him until he was hidden by a cloud. Then two men in white appeared and said, Jesus has been taken from you into heaven. But someday, he will return from heaven in the same way you saw him go. Since Jesus took the punishment that we deserve, now nothing stands in between us and God. Anybody can become a part of God's family if we choose to believe that Jesus beat death and decide to follow him. Even though we still have to live in this world where we suffer and die, like Jesus did, the best part is we can follow him and be a part of his story right now and he's preparing a perfect home for his family to live in forever. And that's the story of Jesus' rescue. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Adam and Eve disobeyed. They had to die. We all do wrong things. We deserve death. God rescued us. Jesus took our punishment. Jesus beat death. He went to heaven. We can be a part of God's family. And all that is a part of God's story. Amen. Wasn't that an awesome story? I hope you enjoyed it. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you for each one of these children. Lord, I pray that you help them to uh, just remember this story and to learn from uh, the story, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Remember, 1 Peter 2.9, you are a king's kid. Have a good night.